Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the significance of food in Heathers. Specifically, I will discuss what the food Veronica eats during the movie reveals about her personality. This video essay will argue that the various different foods Veronica eats throughout the film reveal the stark contrast between her true personality and the personality she adapts in order to fit in with her peers. Now the first scene I will be looking at is toward the beginning of the movie when Veronica is on the patio having pate with her parents. Heather, your mother's here. Come on, whoever wants a ride. Bye, thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Hey, take a break. Veronica, sit down. So, what was the first week of uh, spring vacation withdrawal like? I don't know. It's okay, I guess. Kid, isn't the prom coming up? I guess. Any contestants worth mentioning? Maybe. It's kind of a dark horse in the running. God damn, will somebody tell me why I read these spy novels? Because you're an idiot. Oh, yeah, that's it. You too. Mm, great pate, but I got a motor if I want to be ready for that party tonight. This scene is important because it allows the audience to get a glimpse into what Veronica's home life is like. Veronica's parents are wealthy and have an almost European style, as shown in their dish of choice, French pâté. If these are the people who raised her, then undoubtedly Veronica grew up to share her parents' sophistication. This ritual of sharing pâté on the patio with her parents allows Veronica to show her true upper-class, elegant self. It is significant that this scene takes place on a patio because not only are Veronica and her parents literally outside, but they are also figuratively outside the confines of society. In this sense, these moments eating outside with her parents act as a liminal space. When Veronica eats pâté with her mom and dad, she is able to get away from the high school hierarchy for a moment and act according to how she was raised, thus showing her true self. The next scene I will examine is directly after the pâté scene, when Veronica talks to JD at the Snappy Snack Shack. Corn nuts! BQ or plain? BQ! You gonna pull a super chug with that? No, but if you're nice, I'll let you buy me a slushie. See, so you know your convenience speak pretty well. Yeah, well, uh, I've been moved around all my life. Dallas, Baton Rouge, Vegas, Sherwood, Ohio. There's always been a snappy snack shack. Any town, any time. You pop a ham and cheese in the microwave and feast on a turbo dog. Keeps me sane. Really? That thing you pulled in the calf today was pretty severe. Yeah, well, the extreme always seems to make an impression. Did you say a cherry or Coke slushy? I didn't. Cherry. This scene is important because it shows how Veronica acts when she is in the presence of her peers, when she is outside of the liminal space and inside regular society. In this scene, we can see Veronica eating Twizzlers and drinking a slushie. Obviously, as we can see from the previous scene of Veronica's home life, this is probably not the type of food Veronica grew up eating. She was most likely more familiar with European cuisine and home-cooked meals like pâté and spaghetti with lots of oregano. JD, however, does not have the privilege of being able to eat the same types of food that Veronica does. Instead of the family dinners that Veronica grew up with, JD has had to settle for the quickest and probably unhealthiest options he could find at the convenience store. This is the part in the movie when Veronica really starts to encourage JD to pursue her romantically. She recognizes that they have very different backgrounds, but she adapts her personality and puts aside her upper-class background in order to eat lower-class, less respectable food from the convenience store. And letting JD buy her a slushie, she is trying to speak his language, in a sense, so she can make him feel more comfortable and allow him to act like a gentleman. The final scene I will be looking at in Heather's is toward the end of the movie when Veronica has a nightmare sequence about Heather Duke's funeral. Let's just hope she's rubbing noses with Jesus. Does this turn out weak or what? 
had at least 70 more people at my funeral. Heather? God, Veronica. My afterlife is so boring. If I have to sing Kumbaya one more time, what are you doing here? Favorite. Spaghetti. Lots of oregano. Dinner! <laughs> Veronica, dinner! In this scene, Heather Chandler pushes Veronica's head into a giant bowl of her favorite food, spaghetti with lots of oregano. This spaghetti has a place in Veronica's nightmare because it reminds her of her old life, before she got involved with the Heathers and JD the home dinners, and the connection that she used to have with her parents. This spaghetti is a representation of Veronica's true personality, the upper-class, sophisticated behavior she learned from her parents. When Veronica befriended the Heathers and JD, she had to cast aside her true personality and create a new one to seem more normal. In getting caught up with all the murders with JD, Veronica grew apart from her family and stopped telling them anything. She gave up all her principles and became a completely unrecognizable version of herself. Heather Chandler shoving Veronica's head into the bowl of spaghetti serves as a wake-up call for Veronica. She has to go back to acting like her true self and stand up to JD before it's too late and she herself ends up dead. Thank you for listening to my analysis of the importance of food in Heather's. Here is my work cited.